Hey guys, still in Questa here for FootageCrate.com. We recently added some lower thirds files to our effects page. Now for those of you who are like, what the friggity fram is a lower third? They're basically what you'll find at the bottom of news programs and sports shows or documentaries, a lot of stuff really. Essentially, they make it easier to list information like names, locations, and other info for people who are watching at home. And they're pretty easy to use. So I'm gonna open up my project, which has some footage that I shot outside, with a bit of text at the bottom. Yeah, it's a apt description right there. If you don't already know how to insert a title, it's pretty simple. Just hit Command T to bring up the titler and then select the text tool. You'll then drag a box in the general area you'd like the text to be in and you're ready to go. There's a huge variety of fonts to choose from on the side, each with their own different variations. For this project, I'm gonna go with the classic time-tested Times New Roman. Now all these different buttons and variables may seem a little daunting at first, but once you've made enough titles, it becomes easy to navigate. So up top, we've got the font size, kerning for horizontal spacing, leading for vertical spacing, as well as these three small boxes that let you decide how you'd like to center the text. Over here on the side, you can adjust the color, set drop shadow, and even create outer and inner layers within the letters, which basically lets you decide how thick or thin of an outline they have. These three things in particular will make sure the text doesn't get lost in your footage. So now that we know what we're going to be working with, I'm going to get rid of this first title, and then we're going to use the lower thirds file as a foundation for some new text. We'll use the tools we just covered to make sure everything fits in. The name will be nice and bold, the info underneath will be smaller and wider spread. We also have to keep color in mind, so I'm going to use this dropper tool so that each set of text complements the section of the lower third that they're set on. This way everything fits a concrete scheme, and it'll add an extra bit of polish to the final product. Okay, we're almost done here. The last thing we need to do with the text is apply a transition so that it blends nicely into the graphics when they come on screen. Now, depending on what you're trying to do and what you have access to in your editor, you may have to program one of these transitions for yourself. For example, I've added a block transition, which I'll map out using keyframes that affect the speed that it takes place as well as the details of the particle effect. Of course, there's also faster solutions like Premiere's pre-programmed wipes and slides, even some dissolves if that's what you're looking for. With a little experimentation, you can get some quick, nice-looking results that go with the lower third. The final ingredient is a sound to go with all the action. We'll just drop in a whoosh from SoundsCrate.com, lower the volume so it's nice and subtle, and then... And that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot else to add other than, like, past effects tutorials I've made, I encourage you guys to mess with the color, flip it around, shrink it, enlarge it, do whatever you can to make it yours. It works pretty damn well in my opinion, as is, but, you know, it's all about tailoring it to your specific project. So head on over to Footage Crate and get these two lower thirds files, we've got a couple other effects in the works right now that should be out pretty soon. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow our Production Crate Facebook page. We're starting to post a lot more regularly, and that's going to include articles that give you tips on how to make better movies, some videos that you guys might find helpful, as well as featured videos by people who use stuff from Sounds Crate and the Footage Crate effects. We're in the process of making it easier for you guys to engage with us and for us to engage with you, so it's going to be a pretty great year. Looking forward to it. So yeah, be sure to like the page. So until next time, peace.